Okay, afternoon everyone. Um, we'll start with broadcast questions as always. Um, and then a reminder, no tweeting during the broadcast part of the press conference. Afterwards we'll go over to the dailies briefing, which is embargoed until 10.30 this evening. Ian's going to get us started. Ian, do you want to fire away the first question? Sure. Hello. Hello. Tell us about your squad for this weekend. How's it looking? Oh, it's okay. We, we train very hard uh, during the week. Um, I, I am very happy in the way that we train it and, and how the team behave. And uh, now um, I think that we are in a good moment and, and we need to to be ready and ensure that we are ready to compete uh, Sunday because I think it's a, be, a big, very big game. So no injury problems for you at all? No, only uh, Clinton and she and, and, and Jean Bertogen are still recovering for the injury, but no... And, and just, no, no news. Just give us an update on Jan Vertonghen. He's been out what three weeks now. Oh. How's he progressing? No, he's very good. We are very happy in the way that he progressed. And um, but it's hard for him. But uh, he's um, in a good uh, mood and he's focused now and to try to recover soon, as soon as possible. How long do you think it might be before he's back? I don't know. Maybe I update every week. But today it's difficult to guess. Um, because it's, uh, it's in a first uh, phase of the injury and we need to to to, to assess uh, every day and, and and today is difficult to say the, the date that is possible uh, is recovering full recovery so you won six in a row in all competitions four in a row in the Premier League just how much confidence is there within the squad and within your team at the moment I think that we are confident in, in, in ourselves, but uh, you know, in football, always uh, you need to, to try to improve every day because in football can turn quick the situation. Uh, we know that, and it's for that uh, um, we need to be very focused and, and, um, and try to improve every day. Um, I think in the way that we behave is, is, a, is a very good way, you know, and then it's football, all can happen, but I think the team um, and the squad. And the, and the squad uh, show a very mature maturity, and um, and we are happy. We are happy in the way that uh, that we are, and only we need to keep working hard and and be focused in the competition. Is there a feeling though that you're going into every match feeling you will win? Yes, this is it's important that they feel that because uh, I think it's key for try to 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 win. Uh, to take the three point that this is uh, our objective and um, it's, it's important uh, to have this feeling in every in front of every game Harry Kane said that there are no bad eggs within the squad <laughs> do you under, do you know what he means I don't hear but <laughs> I, I don't know what it means um, well you, you you don't want any bad eggs. I'm sure you understand that, that yeah. a, a bad egg would, bad would, would, would not be good. Bad people. Bad people. Uh, but I don't know, it's difficult to give my opinion because I don't know in the context that he has, uh, spoke. Um, I, I, I don't know. Does I don't know. Idea, how important is it that there aren't any bad eggs, that everyone is together, there are no bad characters? No, but I think it's important to, to, to settle the principle, the, your ideas and your philosophy. and. Um, I think that today we have a, a team that share our our philosophy and the principle and the values, and I think it's very important. But uh, I don't want to give my opinion because I don't know in the context that he spoke and talked, and, and I don't know, I don't know. But uh, we are very happy in the way that that we are. Harry Kane scoring lots of goals for you. Deli Ali playing very well in in midfield. Could you continue your challenge if something? What happened to, to either of those two players? Well, I see that the challenge is uh, to improve the squad. Every every player, the challenge is that they feel important, a part of the of the team, and I see this is our 
real challenge and, and this is, is the most important thing that, that happened on the, on the team. Last season, you lost to Manchester City, both at home and away. How encouraging is it to you that you've already beaten Manchester City at home? Yes, season? you know, I think it's not important the pass, it's most important in the level that we, we are now. Um, the team believes that can win, this is the most important thing and now we need to only to, to show that we can win. But um, I think that we are confident and we trust in ourselves. Uh, but you know, always football uh, is football, and uh, it's important to, to to show that we are better than them. But it's true that we, we will expect a very tough game because Manchester, Manchester City have a very good player. You lost 4-1 at Manchester City last season. How do you go about ensuring that that, that doesn't happen again? No, it's impossible to be sure that it's not happen again. Only. But do you think you've you've improved a lot? Yes, but every game is different there. and different circumstances, and you cannot uh, guess what will happen. Uh, but one one thing is sure that uh, we are confident. Uh, we go to Manchester to try to to win the game. Uh, first play, play well and and perform as well for try to deserve to to win to take the three points. This is our objective, but we cannot guess uh, what uh, will happen uh, Sunday. Some people are talking very positively about you as a as a manager, and I know you've spoken about you know your future over recent weeks. Um, Sir Alex Ferguson has apparently described you as the best manager in the league. What do you make of that? I don't I don't hear that from from him, and for that it's impossible to give my opinion. But is it nice to hear things like that from someone like? But Sir I don't Alex know if it's true or not. Because he doesn't call me, <laughs> I don't hear him on the media, and it's rumor. I never speak about rumor. I think the point they're making is that it's come from someone else rather than directly from. Sorry, but is, if it's uh, true, I don't know. Okay. You play against Manchester City this weekend. Arsenal play against Leicester. As far as Arsenal Leicester is concerned, what's what's the best result? From your point of view, it's not important for us this game. It's important to be focusing in our game. Um, a lot of game ahead uh, we have, and after uh, Sunday, uh, I think for different results happen. Is nothing changed because it's uh, still a lot of game for play. To play, and it's for that, that we need to be focused in, in us, in our game, and, and try to, to improve every day, and, and try to, to deserve to win and take the three points on Manchester City. This is a, the most important thing, I think. Uh, is it true that talks are ongoing with Christian Eriksen over a new contract? It's another rumor, and it's, a, well, it's only a rumor. It's, or is, is there any truth to it? You know, my pol policy. Policy is not to speak. Uh, how many Spurs players met up with England this week? How? How many of your players <coughs> met up with England? Six, I think. Sorry, yeah. Sorry? More questions. Yeah. Okay. Ah, okay. Sorry, I'll ask the question. Yesterday. Again. Yesterday. Yes, met, how, many, uh, how many players went with England? Six. Yeah. Six. I mean, I can guess a few, but can you tell us who they were? What? Uh, who? who? Yes, I think it's not secret, no? I don't know, is the FA... Oh. FA it's, not secret. Not it's not secret, no? It's uh, Danny Ross, Kai Walker, Eric Dyer, Deli Ali, Ryan Mason, Harry Kane. And, and what does that say about Spurs, that you have that many? Yes, I think that we, f we feel very happy. I think it's, uh, we feel very proud about our English player, and I think they deserve, because the season is fantastic. Uh, the performance, and um, maybe some more players, uh, uh, maybe uh, showing, showing no? uh, them on the future. I think it's a, a very good thing for, for Tottenham. Finally, can I get your thoughts on the fans or fans at some clubs protesting about ticket prices? Do they have a point? Yes, it's a good point because uh, I come from, we come from. Uh, from Spain, empty stadium, and 
and our feeling is to keep uh, the full stadium. Um, I think the, the supporters are very important, and um, and, I, and I think Tottenham is very sensible uh, about that. Mauricio, how important was that 4-1 win at the end of September against Manchester City? What, what did it tell you about your team? Because at that stage, Spurs had made quite a slow start to the season. Yes, it was a very important game for us. It uh, was a very important victory. And um, um, I think that uh, gave to, to us uh, more belief and uh, trust in ourselves <coughs> and our quality. I think it was was one of the important games from, from beginning of the season. You said um, after a recent game, you can see it in their eyes that they believe. It, clearly, that's a, a good thing, to have belief in your team. But is it also important to keep the team just focusing all the time on one game at a time? The moment you believe, you start looking too far <coughs> into the future. No, this is, is, uh, is how the, the squad feel today. Uh, they only are focusing the next game, and this is is, is very important because um, um, you you know not spend uh, energy into thinking in the a long a long, a long time, and <coughs> only you spend time to to improve because uh, you need to perform as well in the next game, and I think it's uh, it's a good point that uh, today the the team, the team show. Is this the most enjoyable time of your managerial career? Are you having the most fun? Yes, maybe yes, maybe yes. I am honest, maybe yes. And how much better a manager do you think you are now than you were a couple of years ago? Well, my philosophy is that uh, I need to improve every day. Um, I try to be better every day and not always is possible. <laughs> but uh, we try. We try to be better every day. And one last thing. You said that you, um, after a, the last game against Watford, that the team needed to be more clinical. H how do you work on that? How do you get better? Yes. How do you get more clinical? Yes, we, we, we try this week to work uh, very hard and, and to be focused in, in because I think the process um, and how we build from back and, and, and we, how we play in, in, in the opposite half, um, I think that we can improve, but uh, we are happy in the way uh, that the team show uh, how we play. But it's true that uh, we need to be, uh, be more clinical when we create a, a, a lot of chance uh, for in front of the goal. But sometimes we have luck or sometimes not. But, uh, uh, only is, you can improve only if you work hard and how, how we work this week. Maurizio, everyone's talking about what a big game this could be in the title race. But in your words, how would you put it? My prediction? Sorry? No. Um, everyone's talking about what a big game this yes. could be in the title race. How would you put that? How important do you think it is in the title race? Well, for me, every game is very important uh, because um, um, to arrive on the end uh, in a position that we are or improve our position, you need to win games. Um, but it's not decisive. It's important, very important, but it's not the last game that you need to achieve or not. After the game, after 90 minutes, um, it's not the, the last game. Um, but, it, but I think it's a very important game. It's a very important game, and we know, they know. And, uh, we are in a position that uh, is uh, 13 games ahead, but after uh, the next game is 12. And uh, we, we um, uh, go into the, the more important period on the league. And you've got a relatively young squad. Um, is there a sense that they have less fear? No, I think that we have a good balance. Sometimes it's a wrong perception uh, because only we speak about the younger, but we have a lot of experienced players on the team. We don't forget that we have Hugo Lloris, uh, Jean Bertogen, Toby Alderville, Musa Dembele, Daniel Ross, um, Michel Born, uh, a player that have experience on, on, Premier, on Premier League and are top Player, senior player, but we have two 
uh, younger. But I think the balance is, is perfect. It's not only uh, we have energy because we have young young players. We have senior players that run a lot, or Christian Eriksen, and but it's still young. But I think that uh, we have a good mix, and and we need to give the the, the credit to the oh, Kai Walker too. But I don't want to remember any senior player, but uh, um, we need to give the the credit to the senior player too. No, it's not uh, Tottenham only young young player. Eh? Yes. Um, Hi. Hi. Uh, thinking of the game, um, your fellow countrymen, you scored four past Otamendi and David Chalis, and Aguero scored four last season past you. So are you thinking particularly about the Argentines that you're playing? At the I don't want to compare anymore uh, Aguero with San... Uh, eh? Yes, with San uh, Big mu mu Music. music. Uh, because it was was bad after no, but uh, the result. But uh, no, I think Manchester City have uh, a very good player. The not the Michelis or the Mendy, Aguero, Zabaleta. But I play with Zabaleta on Espanol. Was my teammate, and, uh, and a very good, very good player, very good people. And uh, uh, we will expect a very tough game uh, Sunday. I'm probably looking around the only person in the room who remembers Spurs winning the league. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, talking about your players thinking they can win every game, um, do they think they can win the league? Because if you win every game, you probably will win the it's league. It's true. Yeah. This is true. It's true. Uh, in the theory, I think it's perfect, the theory, but uh, we need to deliver it and to show. In football, all is possible. All is possible. Uh, why not? We need to believe. We need only we, we need only believe, and after we'll see what happens. Have you had to change your your belief this season? Because I guess you start out thinking we must do better than last season. All managers want to do that, and then you think, well, the top four is very good for Tottenham, but now you can be the top one. Has that been a change in the belief in the dressing room in the coaches' room? No, no, no change. Uh, because from the beginning, when it was tough, um, I remember that uh, you said to me and some people inside to the club say, "Oh, but uh, yes, the uh, team played well, but uh, too too many draw, too many draw." <laughs> okay, but uh, we need to to believe and, and we need to show that we believe and trust in in our squad. Or we need uh, uh, to add this or that, this type of player or in some position. You know. You, you never know in football. Only the result can give the reason or not. But it's true that we have a plan, and this is mo the most important thing. And uh, when you design the plan, you need you need to to follow, and uh, you need to believe. And you you cannot change because uh, from the beginning you have some problem. Only you need to to feel that you trust in in, in your player and your squad, and. This is, I think, is the key, the key for for after performance well. No? Good luck. Thank you very much. All right, guys. Can you have the cameras off now, please? Thank you. Hello, I'm Rhys James. Welcome back to Spurred On. Now, Sunday is a huge game. We've got Man City, a 